Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I will be talking to you about my palette collection. I have quite a few. So basically I will be telling you guys three things. Whether I like it or not, if I could go back in time would I buy it or not, and what was the last thing? Oh, how often I reach for it. So let's just jump straight into the video. First of all, let's just talk about Modern Renaissance. I actually just did a look with this one. It is the look I'm wearing right now. However, I'm only wearing it on this eye. I will link the video up below. I'm wearing Subculture on my left eye and Modern Renaissance on my right eye. That was the first time I used Modern Renaissance. However, I do have the dupe for it, which is the BYS Berries palette. This is an absolutely gorgeous dupe for it. And the reason why I actually bought the Modern Renaissance is because I loved the Berries palette so much. So first I got this palette and I just got it purely because the reason it was the dupe. Just the amount of times I use this, even though it is a drugstore product, crazy. I absolutely love it. If I could go back in time and buy it, I wouldn't because I have the Modern Renaissance now and I don't really use this anymore. I just got pigment on my hand and I have swatches. <laughs> But yeah, I wouldn't buy it just purely because of that reason. But if I couldn't afford Modern Renaissance, 100% I would. Or how often I reach for it? Already said it all the time. With respect to Modern Renaissance, I can't actually say how often I reach for it because I haven't really used it that often. But since I use berries a lot every single day, I'm sure I'm going to be using this every day. I love the colours in it. I will be doing a comparison between the two if you guys want to see that. But anyways, it's gorgeous. If I could go back in time and buy it a thousand times over, you all know it. Let's just move on. But the more controversial one is Subculture. Now this palette is known to have a lot of fallout. As you can see here, Roxy and everything. Some colours aren't as pigmented as expected, like Cube, which is the colour I'm wearing on my inner lid at the moment. A lot of people are not happy with this palette purely because there is so much fallout. There's just a lot of drama around this palette at the moment. But I've done two videos on it and I love it. I absolutely love it. I feel like the formula is the same as the Modern Renaissance even though it does have a formula change. I talk about that in my video, in my review video. I will put a card up for that and I don't know, I love it. If I could go back in time and buy it, would I? Yes, I would. I feel like these colours are gorgeous. They're colours that I don't normally have and once I've experimented with them, I feel like I could use them a lot more. They create really unique looks. Since I don't have the Androgyny palette, I feel like this just completes the amount of colours that I have in my collection. Next, I will be going in with the Tartus Pro palette. Um, it is the Amazonian clay palette. And to be honest, I am not the biggest fan, purely because the mattes, they just don't really work for me. And the, honestly, I use this palette every single day. Do you know why? Because of the mirror. It's literally the only... Jesus Christ. This was actually my first high-end palette, and the only reason I got it is because of the colour, to be honest, the gold. I just loved the gold. <laughs> Big mistake. If I sound funny, it's because my nose is blocked and I'm super sick. Whatever. But yeah, the only colours that I do often use is Mod and Whimsy. I never use anything else. If I could go back, I definitely wouldn't buy this. I don't really like the palette. I only like these two colours and I never reach for it. Now, my glow kit with Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero. This is, in fact, my only glow kit, so I do reach for it every single day. And I do love it. It's what I have on right now, if you guys can see the glow. I have Glow Getter on at the moment. I don't know why I have to close my eyes for that. But anyways, I have Glow Getter on at the moment, and in my brow bone, I have Forever Lit. I love this palette. It was limited edition, so I'm not sure if it's still sold now. But it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I... Don't know what else to say. If I could go back in time, I would 100% buy it again. <sighs> contour kit, self-explanatory. Everybody knows it. Original contour kit. Works. It's powdery. I reach for it every time I contour. Nothing more to say about that. I love it. I would rebuy it. 
Now, Zoeva, the Pink Spectrum Blush Palette is like this. Um, I like it. It works for me. I feel like they are so pigmented. I literally only have to dab like the tiniest bit on. And it's so pigmented. I literally do like one little tap. I don't know why I'm putting it on, but whatever. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I would 100% rebuy it. My nose is getting so blocked. Oh my god. Do you guys ever like hate that when you're sick and you have makeup? And like you have makeup all over your nose so you can't blow it out. But then you have to, you have to reapply the makeup. <laughs> Whatever. But anyways, I love the palette. It's so pigmented. I feel like I'm going to use this for like two years. Because it just it lasts that long, honestly. It's gorgeous. I love it. 100% buy it. Now, so far, my all-time favourite palette. Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. This is... I have no words. This is just the most gorgeous palette ever. This colour henna is my favourite colour of all times. I would literally buy the palette all over again. It retails for 95 Australian dollars just for this colour. The shimmers are stunning. They are stunning. Like for example, I'll swatch fling. I don't know where to put it because I have so many swatches already. It's crazy. It's crazy. I use it every day. I love it. I buy it again. I just... Oh, I love it so much. Now, new purchases. Jaclyn Hill palette. I, I've used this palette once. I love it. It worked really well for me. It was super pigmented. I still have the plastic in. You guys have all seen the palette. I did do a first impressions and review on it. But my skin looked disgusting in it. It was just, I don't know why, what happened to the lighting. But it just, it just, it was just so gross. But anyways, I will be doing another look with this soon. I have exams in like 10 days. I don't know why I'm filming. I'm so stressed. But anyways, I will do another look after my exams. My exams finish August 20th. I'm just pre-filming a bunch of videos for you guys. Um... And I'll show you more looks that you can do with it. I love this palette. So far what I've used, yes, I would buy it again. Just because of this, these four colours here. I feel like they're extremely unique. They're gorgeous. They're amazing to blend with. Again, it's a new palette. I can't really say how much I use it. But I feel like I would reach for it quite often. Now I have two new Morphe palettes. Can't say whether I'd reach for it, whether I like it. I have never used it. I'll do a first impressions of these palettes. I'll create a look of it and I will just show you guys. The other look, the other Morphe palette I got, this I can already say I would go back and buy it again if I run out because I need colours. I feel like this is gorgeous. As you can see, I've never even swatched it. I've had this part for like a week or two weeks. I can't believe I haven't swatched it yet. Saving it for the video. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, these colours are gorgeous. I'm sure the colour payoff is amazing. Especially on my skin tone as well. Um, I feel like it would be gorgeous. I would go back again. I don't think I'd reach for it as often. Simply because this is an extremely colourful palette. And I'm not really the one to do crazy colourful looks every day. I don't even wear makeup every day, only for videos and nights out. But yeah, guys, that's my palette collection. You guys know which ones I love. My all-time favourite is Huda Beauty. And my least favourite of them all is the Tarte palette. And I'm pretty sure I give you guys a general, like, overview of what I like, what I don't like. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, please, if you liked it. And tell me if you like seeing these types of videos like palette collections and just quick reviews on the palettes but yeah all in all thank you so much for watching if you guys want to see how i created this look with different palettes make sure to check my other video out um and i think that's it thank you so much once again and just click on my face to subscribe if you haven't i'd love it and just have a great day see you later guys Mwah.